launched a new feature called projects that I think a lot of people are going to like, and it allows you to work with your own knowledge base and it makes it a little easier and a little bit better visual organized. So I'm going to show you real quick, some of the advantages uh, of using this versus using the custom GPTs inside of chat GPT, as well as to tell you, hopefully everything you need to know about this new feature in, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. All right, let's quickly jump in before we do though. My name's Jordan. This is an AI in five almost every single day we bring you a quick five ish minute tutorial tip trick on using generative ai to grow your company grow your career so if that's you please subscribe to this channel go to your everydayai.com sign up for that free daily newsletter all right let's go ahead and check this out so uh there's a couple new things let me go ahead and refresh my window there i had a little there we go all right uh so you can go in and read more about projects but in short it allows you to upload documents and it better organizes those documents and then you can have a a chat just using those documents or depending on uh, how you instruct it so let's go ahead and create our first project so we're going to click on projects create new project all right i'm just going to copy and paste all this uh so you don't have to watch me struggle and type so what i'm going to i'm calling this uh everyday ai productivity and it's a recap of po uh, podcast episodes around uh about productivity so i'm going to go ahead and create the project all right, so now what it's going to ask me to do is to, uh, or what I want to do is to add custom instructions. So this sets instructions for how Claude should behave. All right, so about time Claude got this, you know, thank you. Uh, this is something, you know, I don't personally like custom instructions always uh, because I think they can be a little finicky. But in this uh, instance, when you're working with kind of like a GPT or a custom uh, version essentially of Claude, where you can kind of change its behavior, custom instructions are pretty important. And I like how they didn't even try to give it a different name. They just use what ChatGPT uses. Uh, so essentially I'm saying first, always check the project knowledge base for answering queries before using your own internal knowledge base. If the user asks for information that is not in the project knowledge base, then please always refer to Cloud Claude's knowledge base. In other words, prioritize the project knowledge base first, but always refer to Claude, Claude's knowledge base after to answer the user's query. I'm gonna say, if it is not in the project knowledge. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll try that. And so now what you can do is you can just add different content. So you can upload files, drag and drop them in, or add text content. I'm just gonna quickly show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go to episodes on my website. And if you didn't know, uh, yeah, we have hundreds, uh, hundreds of episodes, thousands of hours of content. So I'm gonna go into productivity, all right? And then I'm gonna just start copying and pasting all of this information into Claude. So I'm just gonna go add contact, uh, add content and then uh, paste in the text. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in and then I'm gonna grab the name here. All right, and then I'm gonna click add content. Um, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one or two more. So let's just go, let's just go back here. We're gonna go to our AI tracks, gonna go back to productivity. Let me open this in a new window or I'm gonna try to really find ones that focused on productivity uh, pretty, here we go. I like this one too. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now, copy and paste this, add it into Claude. I'm going to go to the very top again, grab the title there. So we know, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab one more. All right, there we go. I'm going to go back in, add content, grab this and bam, there we go. All right. So the thing that I love about this that I wish all other large language models would do is it tells you the percentage of knowledge size use, which is very important to know. Uh, I wish ChatGPT did this for custom GPTs because people upload way too much content and then they wonder why their GPTs don't work. Well, just because you can upload your knowledge base doesn't mean you can put in a million pages. All right. So uh, Claude Anthropic, thank you for doing that. We need more just transparency about what models can handle and what they can't. All right, so now let's just go ahead. We're gonna do some simple uh, some simple prompting here. What I like is you still have the artifacts featured enabled. So we're actually gonna see if our custom instructions uh, you know, even worked or if that confused it. So I'm gonna say, uh, just please give me uh, seven tips for productivity. So I'm not saying using my knowledge base. So I'm seeing if the custom instructions are first uh, going to go to uh, productivity or to find those seven tips. So now it essentially opens up a new chat. 
Uh, it's going to give it a name here. I'm guessing it's going to say seven tips for productivity and it says processing it all. So one thing I wish that Claude would do is I wish that it would show you uh, exactly what it's doing under the hood, similar to what ChatGPT does. Uh, so I can't, unfortunately, but I wish it would show you uh, kind of, hey, I went into these files, right? Uh, so here we go. So it is, which I like, it's... Um, it's going after the actual episodes and it's telling me where it's pulling that information from. So let's just, I just want to double check. Yep. There's 197. All right. And then it did 289. Okay. So I like that. It's, it's uh, citing it, which is fantastic. So uh, there we go. It gave me seven tips, seven productivity tips. All right. So now I can keep chatting or uh, I can go back to my project and you'll see there's this. So I'm going to say, uh, what did, uh, let's see. This one was with Jason from Rev, the CEO of Rev. Great podcast episode. I'm going to say, what did Jason say about productivity? All right. So now it's going to start a new chat. And then hopefully it's only going to pull out that information from episode 289. Uh, all right. So there we go. Jason Chicola. Perfect. All right. So it just pulled out uh, it's still, uh, strangely enough, it still gave me seven things, even though I didn't ask for seven things. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try one more little thing. We're going to see if our custom instructions actually worked. Uh, this has actually been a little problematic, uh, and hopefully uh, Anthropic is making some updates. So I'm going to ask now something that's not in the knowledge base. So I'm going to say, explain to me how the NBA works. Something simple. Something the model should know fairly well. So previously, uh, I don't think it was handling the custom instructions very well, uh, but now it, it does a little better. So first, it says, I apologize, but I don't have specific information about how the MBA works in project uh, knowledge base. However, I can provide general information about the MBA from my own knowledge. So there we go. So before, uh, when you use any custom instructions, it was kind of tripping it up. So you do have to say, kind of say, hey, first check project knowledge base. If that does not uh, exist, use your own knowledge base. And you might have to say that multiple times. Even when I said it generally, uh, the Claude project feature did struggle to tap into its own knowledge base first. So you might just have to, you know, uh, do a little tweaking of that, but there we go. All right. So it pulled in some basic, uh, some basic information. So, uh, now you see, so again, let's just kind of zoom in here. So the good thing is, is you can modify this as well. So maybe it's pulling in, maybe you added a file you didn't mean to, you can delete it uh, or just add new ones, uh, update your uh, custom instructions, et cetera. So I think this is a great uh, new feature from Claude. Uh, one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is you have to have a team plan uh, to take advantage of this. So, uh, or to take advantage of sharing. So, uh, right now, you know, I'm on the paid plan. So you have to have a team plan in order to share this, which, um, you know, obviously super far behind chat GPT in that regard, uh, with chat GPT, they have a directory, you know, which they actually call a store. You can go download other people's, uh, you can't do that in Claude. You have to be on a team plan. And then it looks like you can only share your projects with other team members. So some huge downsides, um, right. Because even on a free account inside of chat GPT right now, you can use any GPT, right. If you have access to it, you can't build them, uh, but you can use them. So, uh, it's a downside. I hope that Claude changes that. And at least, uh, you, you know, I should be able to share, uh, these with other people and they shouldn't have to be on my team plan. I don't think, um, but you know, that's a small, small little gripe. So overall, uh, I, I do like this new feature. Uh, something that you should probably do is star it, you know, for your projects, because if you use large language models a lot, it's going to be a little hard to find. Uh, and then you'll see right there, it's in my starred, uh, starred projects right there. Uh, so pretty simple, uh, yet I think very impactful way, even just the, the simple, uh, way to better organize your thoughts, uh, to always have certain files, um, you, you know, I think is very helpful. I think that this is going to really change the way that people use large language models. Like I said, very similar, uh, to GPTs inside of chat GPTs. There's pros and there's cons, right? Uh, the big pro with, um, with uh, Claude's project is you can see at all times the different chats going on in this project, as well as visually uh, know the files that are in there 
and how much of your knowledge size is being consumed by these files. So uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. Go ahead, sign, re reply to the welcome email. I'll get back to you. But let me know, is this something you want to see more of? Do you want to see more of Claude uh, projects? We cover a lot of chat GPT here. So I uh, hope this is helpful and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.